Hey guys, welcome to Tutorial 34. I'm going to go over how to do uh, a render layer uh, on another render layer. So, basically, we're going to have this cube with a sphere behind it, but they're not going to. The sphere is not going to be in this scene. So, to start out with, we'll have to render this picture. I'm going to give it another light. A couple of lights. I'm going to set it to smooth and subsurf. Also, you hit bevel and it'll smooth out all the sides. Okay, so just render this. Okay, so we have our white cube with a blue background. You exit, hit the face, and open up your nodes button and then hit the face and use nodes um, this is the first uh, this is a render layer in the composite this is the final product next one you go to add new scene and we'll just say empty add in your camera uh, I'm gonna go over okay and then I'm going to add in a uh, UV sphere. Alright, add new. I'm going to make this red. Set it to smooth and add subsurf. Next, we'll render this. Oh, I forgot to add the light in. Okay, now render it again. Okay, now I have our red sphere with black in the background. Hit use nodes, and now we can go back to uh, scene one. And just drop, click and drag and cut the line here. And then go to add, color, and Z combine. And we'll get a uh, double image also add input uh, render layers okay so instead of having this as a render layer uh, go to scene one and hit render uh, one render layer so now I have our two pictures go to image to image image to image oh. and then go to the final Connect all your Z. I'm not sure why it's. I'm not sure why it's not putting the one in the background. I think it matters in which way you add it in. But hold on, go back to scene one. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna move that off the side and minimize it. Okay, so now that when we go back, we can see both of them. Refresh it by clicking there. There we go, that's it. Okay, so uh, go to render and do composite. Hit F12, and now you can see the cube will render with the blue background, and then the sphere will render with the black background. Then you add them together. And that's multi render layer. Um, I'm guessing you could go up to more, uh, add more layers. I would just kind of do it like this. Just uh, 
add your new layer in or whatever and just go to like that it's not going to look good because these are the same air that's in the same position as these when you put them together so you're not going to see any difference shift D and then you would go something like that and then that's how you would do that so that's how you get four layers so these two go to that one these two go to that one and then these two go to this one and build this is like one block and then you finish it here so that's how to add images into uh, multi-layer imaging with notes see you